हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज मिस्टर रविंद्र ताज ने आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल आज रविताज ऑनलाइन बैंकिंग एकेडमी फॉर लेक्चर नंबर थ्री टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एज परमिटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन एक्चुअली दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी मच फेमस फॉर यूपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन देन बैंक एग्जामिनेशन एंड स्टाफ सिलेक्शन कमीशन एग्जामिनेशन एंड अदर अलाइड एग्जाम्स ऑल्सो इट आवर लेक्चर नंबर वन एंड टू वी आर डिस्कस a uh, very much important topic that is uh, difference between uh, difference between assumptions and conclusion so i would like to request to uh, to see this video also for more updates of assumptions and conclusion this topic is helpful for your upsc exam also bank exams also or staff selection commission exams also so i once again i request to to uh, listen this video with proper way for more updates of assumptions and conclusion as i said in our lecture number 3 today we are discussing very important topic of difference between permutations and combinations so before going ahead actually this topic is basically from uh, aptitude or basic numeracy section and most of students are confusing how we should apply formula of permutations how we should apply formula of combinations and accordingly we are unable to solve examples from aptitude basically this topic is uh, more or la- more or less asked for most of the examinations and that's why we have to deal every questions with proper way and with high accuracy in my opinion uh, most of exams which we are dealing with uh, are not exams of practice only our basic concepts should be very clear and as i said our if our basic concepts are very clear then we can solve example any example with uh, highest speed also and highest accuracy also so for dealing with this today's topic also we are discussing basic concepts of what is exact, exactly permutations where we should apply formula of permutations and what is exactly combinations and where we should apply formula of combinations and then we can solve example easily step by step step by step okay so let us start our video uh, my dear friends so before moving ahead first we'll see what is permutation as a definition of permutations and where we are going to apply formula of permutations in, in which examples we should apply formula of permutations so permutations can be defined as if you define if you want to define a permutation permutation can be defined as if each arrangements of the objects can be done by taking some or all things at a time at a time is called as permutation simple definition my dear friends simple definition means what permutations can be defined as making arrangements of the objects or things by taking some or objects or things at a time is called as permutations in simple way when we are arranging the objects we are using formula of permutations and when we deal with the combinations we will we'll separately deal with the combinations as when we are selecting the objects we are using formula of combinations so let us go to formula of permutations so formula of permutation can be uh, properly uh, said as npr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r bracket factorial listen very carefully n p r is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r bracket factorial actually n means what my dear friends n means total number of objects and what is r r means taken objects okay so uh, have a difference between n and r also n means what total number of objects and r means what taken at a time and p stands for permutation and this sign is stands for factorial means if you want to say n factorial so can be defined as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 then up to 3 into 2 into 1 means what is factorial my dear friends factorial can be defined as multiplication up to that number very simple don't get confused what is factorial factorial is nothing but multiplication up to that number if you want to say 5 factorial it can be uh, said as 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and what is answer for 5 factorial this is nothing but 120 suppose 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 or we can go for 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 means multiplication up to the number is called as factorial factorial okay now moving ahead suppose uh, when we means uh, students where, where students are getting confused ki, where, sir, where we should apply formula of permutations okay suppose let us take very simple example very very simple example suppose we want to arrange five persons in a row suppose we have five persons with us and we want to arrange five persons in a row by taking all five persons then how we can apply formula permutations my dear friends 
so n is equal to 5 n is equal to because total number of persons are 5 and we are taking all 5 persons for arrangements so accordingly we have written a formula 5p5 so it is to be uh, to be told as 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 5 bracket factorial bracket factorial so 5 factorial is nothing but 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 divided by 0 factorial kindly remember dear friends 0 factorial is always equal to 1 for counting purpose 0 factorial we take as a 1 1 factorial also is equal to 1 and 0 factorial is also is equal to 1 so kindly remember 0 factorial is equal to 1 so this answer will be my dear friends 120 means what is 120 means if you arrange 5 persons in a row by taking five all five persons then total arrangements will be 120 without any condition without any condition means without any condition we can uh, take we have taken this example so total arrangements will be 120 means in simple way my dear friends permutations is the way of arrangements is the way of arrangement or methods of arrangement okay now come let us come to second of our today's lecture what is combination okay what is combination combinations can be simply defined as making selections or groups of the objects or the things by taking some or all things or the objects at a time simple definition simple definition means if you want to use formula of combination means we are making selections or groups over there by taking some of the objects or all of the objects okay and accordingly formula of combination is also very simple ncr is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r bracket factorial so kindly remember means here we have not put r factorial at uh, denominator here we have put r factorial in a denominator okay so once again I repeat the formula ncr is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r bracket factorial okay so once again my dear friends n is equal to total objects r is equal to taken objects okay and c stands for uh, here c stands for combination here p stands for permutations okay and once again i noted note over here zero factorial is equal to one for counting purpose so let us go to example let us go to example as here we have arranged the persons okay suppose same example suppose i want to develop in terms of combination uh, with the same suppose figures same data suppose we have five persons with us and we want to make a groups or committee by taking five persons together okay means we are having five persons and we want to make a committee or we want to go for selecting the groups by taking all of the persons together so my dear friends simply we can apply formula as total number of selections over here so n is equal to 5 r is equal to also 5 so formula can be to be uh, to be developed or to be applied accordingly 5c5 c stands for combination is equal to 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 5 minus 5 bracket factorial okay so if you if you can calculate actually here also we can go for calculations 5 5 factorial and 5 factorial will get cancelled and our answer will be by dear friends only one group can be formed here i have already elaborated over here 120 divided by 120 into one second what means our answer will be only one group can be formed means my dear friends don't get confused actually when we are arranging the objects means if five persons are with us and we want to arrange all five persons in a row so without any condition we can have 120 uh, arrangements can be there for the five persons when we arrange in a row and if you want to select the all five persons to form a committee then my dear friends only one group can be formed okay so this example we should remember properly actually once again students are asking doubts to me sir where we should apply formula of permutations and where we are applying formula of combination now definitions i hope it is very neat and clean uh, clear to all of you so basically uh, dear friends so i once again uh, elaborate permutations means arrangements of the objects simple see, very simple permutations means arrangements of the objects and combination means what selections of the objects or making the groups of the objects so ye aapko samajhna padega ki whenever we are arranging the objects so we have to use formula of uh, normally permutations and when we are going for selections of the objects we are using formula of combinations so my dear friends actually uh, then uh, now topic comes where sir we should apply formula of permutations in a combination in which example 
बिकॉज एग्जाम में आपको उतना टाइम नहीं है सो अकॉर्डिंगली माई डियर फ्रेंड्स की मस्ट मस्ट की वर्ड्स मस्ट बी नोन टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वेन वी आर अप्लाइंग फॉर्मूला परम्यूटेशन सो वेन वी आर अरेंजिंग द लेटर्स टू फॉर्म अ वर्ड सपोज ए फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिल्ली एंड वी वॉन्ट टू टेक ऑल लेटर्स दिल्ली एट अ टाइम एंड वी वॉन्ट टू मेक अ फाइव लेटर वर्ड सो वी आर अरेंजिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओवर हियर एंड अकॉर्डिंगली फॉर्म्यूला कैन बी यूज एज अ इन टर्म्स ऑफ परम्यूटेशन ओके देन सेकेंड सपोज सेकेंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ परम्यूटेशन सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू फॉर्म अ नंबर से मोबाइल नंबर सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू मेक अ लॉटरी नंबर सपोज एनी नंबर बाय मेकिंग बाय हैविंग डिजिट सपोज फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन और सपोज वन टू नाइन एज वी आर अरेंजिंग द डिजिट्स टू फॉर्म अ नंबर तो देर ऑल्सो वी कैन यूज फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ परम्यूटेशन ओवर देर मीन सेकेंड एप्लीकेशन फॉर मेकिंग नंबर्स ओवर देर वी कैन गो फॉर फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ परम्यूटेशन ओवर देर देन थर्ड एप्लीकेशन माई डियर फ्रेंड सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू अरेंज द पर्सन इन रो ओके देर ऑल्सो वी कैन गो फॉर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ परम्यूटेशन ओवर देर now suppose uh, come to second half of our suppose applications so combinations can apply app can be applied for most of the examples suppose selections of wedges selections of roots uh, selections of suppose subjects uh, selections of persons to form a committee uh, selections of cards from a playing cards selections of balls from a box or uh, invitations giving invitations to the suppose uh, persons or going of hugs to the persons or uh, selecting the hands for the handshakes and one more application students also uh, most of the students are not knowing actually when we are selecting the lines to form a diagram or for counting the parallelograms also or suppose selections of vertices or points suppose in a plane and we want to form a triangle also so we can also use formula of combinations over there okay so simple definitions actually i told you for Uh, applications of permutations and combinations i hope these definitions are very clear to all of you so once again i revise my dear friends permutation stands for uh, arrangements of the objects formula is very simple npr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r bracket factorial and second up my dear friends combination stands for uh, selections of the objects or combination stands for groupings making the groups of the uh, persons or making the groups over here so we can go for applications of combinations over there formula is ncr is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r bracket factorial okay as, as i told factorial is nothing but multiplication up to that number and i also told applications of permutations where we can go for i also told uh, where we can use formula of combinations also in our separate video we will go for more examples on permutations and combination because this topic is uh, confusing for many students and this is crucial topic in most of the exams like upsc also my dear friends or uh, banki exams also or staff selection commission exams also so i will my put second video also for more examples on permutations and combinations afterwards actually in simple way permutations and combinations of methods of counting and they are helped by principles of counting in our second video also in our next video also we'll discuss which are the principles of counting actually first principle is multiplication principle and second principle is addition principle because without principles of uh, counting we can't use proper formula or we can't go for proper counting actually these principles are helping for counting so my dear friends for today's lecture we'll conclude in very simple way permutations are nothing but arrangements of the objects and combination nothing but selections of the objects these are methods of counting these are methods of counting and are helped by principles principles of counting that is multiplication principle and second is addition principle i request you uh, to listen our first video and second video also on difference between assumptions and conclusion which will be help helpful for you for knowing uh, more concepts on assumptions and conclusions also i hope it's a nice discussions with you today for difference between permutations and combinations i am putting uh, here onwards also uh, new videos also for only uh, basic concepts also in initially and then detail suppose how some examples on that uh, for on that for better understanding of the topic so i am requesting my dear friends for more videos for more updates for upsc exam then staff selection commission examinations or bank examinations so kindly subscribe our channel as ravitaj online banking academy and i request all of you kindly uh, like our video also share also video also and give the comments also thank you very much my dear friends
गुड डे टेक केयर